What's up everyone? I'm going to go over every single mob in Hytale. If you like Hytale, Minecraft, or Hypixel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. Let's get started. We already know of a lot of creatures in Hytale. All of them can be categorized into three sections. Animals, monsters, and factions. Some creatures will be specific to their zones, while others will be more common throughout Orbis. For example, skeletons have different variants in each zone because they are a common monster, whereas Quebecs are native to zone 1. There are four known zones in the game, with two zones that are still unknown. Starting with what we have seen from the trailer and other media posts, here is a list of all the animals that we know of. Sabertooth tigers, antelopes, chickens and chicks, cats, snakes, pigeons, deer, sheep, turkeys, fish, snails, dogs, bears, frogs, ducks, sparrows, rats, bats, owls, wolves, woodpeckers, rams, horses, crabs, bison, meerkats, warthogs, foxes, rabbits, sharks, cows, crocodiles, pigs, flamingos, hyenas, jellyfish, eels, piranhas, and the kraken. There are a lot of animals that we have seen so far, and there will probably be many more. Also, a little easter egg that I noticed when going over the trailer. The fish in this photo are a reference to Finding Nemo, so that's cool. Now I'll go over a list of the monsters. We have seen zombies, skeletons, spiders, goblins, crawlers, lava hounds, cyclops, cacti, fen stalkers, macaque, which are monkey looking creatures, cave rexes, prehistoric chickens, and a dimetrodon, which is a dinosaur. Void, uh. void eyes and void spawn. The void spawn are described as having pale flesh, purple accents, glowing green eyes, and curving horns. We also know that Varen will be the chief antagonist of the adventure mode. He is the leader of the void. I believe there will be a main boss for each zone, but also mini bosses throughout each zone. For zone 1, the main boss will most likely be the giant spider. In zone 2, the main boss might be the Skarak Queen, or something we have not seen yet. For zone 3, the main boss will likely be the Yeti or the Ice Dragon. For the other zones, we will have to wait and see what more information we get from Hytale. Now that we have covered all the creatures in the game, we can get into detail about factions. Factions are a group of mobs that will have their own societies with their own culture, habits, and block sets. Factions will also most likely be locked to each zone. Quebecs are a friendly faction in Zone 1, but are hinted at being hostile if you bring an axe to their village. They start off as seedlings, grow to adult Quebecs, then autumnal Quebecs. They move slower when they age, and burst into a giant tree once fully grown that drops seeds to continue their life cycle. The Quebecs are raised by tree singers, which might be Quebecs in their final form. The next faction is the Chorks in Zone 1. They are hostile mobs that come in different shapes and sizes. They have different classes, which are Hunter, Shaman, Sentry, Warrior, and Chieftain. The Hunter has a wolf companion. They have unique interactions, like going to shelter when it rains and being distracted by meat. I assume that all the factions will have their own unique interactions. Farins are a faction in Zone 2, but there is not much information out on them. I believe they will be a neutral faction, since the Skaraks seem to be a more aggressive looking faction. Skaraks are the creepy wasp monsters that have a huge colony in Zone 2 with a queen. They have different classes, which are Locusts, Warrior, Worker, Larva, and Tank. They spawn from eggs laid by the Broodmother, and from a larva can evolve to either class. Outlanders are an aggressive faction in Zone 3. They are a breakaway human faction, 
and are hostile to players. They hunt animals, are territorial, and are mostly always wearing a wooden mask. They are involved with dark magic. They have warriors, hunters, a high priest, and a huge barbarian which might be a boss. I believe they will be working alongside Varen because of their diamond-shaped emblem, their glowing green eyes, and their curved horns, which are the features used to describe Void Spawn. Slothians are not a confirmed faction, but are rumored because of the text on a concept image in Zone 4 that says Slothian Village. There are a lot of creatures already in the game, with more to come, and custom mobs that can be added with the Hytel model maker. What do you want to see in the game? Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content.